Well, living labs are wonderful places to exchange stories. So the, the moderators of such labs should be aware of the fact that stories tell a, a lot more than just at face value. So if you're talking about implementation, which I think is one of the problems that I would say in this, uh, in this context um, would be one that I would tackle in such a lab. So in that case, I would say, listen to the stories and find out what exactly the objectives are of this learner's audience and work with those objectives to fill them in on what does that mean for us and work together with them in co-creating a story about the lab. And then you involve both parties, if you like, or all parties, but you'll, you'll connect the objectives with what is actually going on. So that just makes it a lot stronger, I think. So that's how I would use it. And, and if I may add one more thing, um, one of the problems that I keep noticing in this conference is the fact that people can't make the distinction between macro, meso and micro uh, communications in case of vaccines. And I think we could clear that if we would work in such a lab and just clearly design and define on which level you are actually working to influence people to change their behavior towards vaccines. And here we're very much on a macro level. And I think that this, this community on this level should be the connection between the micro and the macro. So they should move one level down.